If you struggle with shyness or social anxiety, check out our free no BS training course with actual useful advice you can do from home. None of that just get out there nonsense. The link is in the description below. For now, let's get to today's question. The question, how can a shy person overcome shyness and become outgoing? My view is that a person determined to be outgoing and extroverted can bring about the required changes. It may not come naturally but initially you will have to make that effort. Over time, some traits become part of you. Occasionally the benefits of being an extrovert will motivate you but what is guaranteed is that you will notice the change in you and would be happier for having made that effort to change. Let me share with you a little more on how or when a person becomes shy or introverted. That should give you a better understanding of your own situation and also give you clues as to what steps you must take to bring about a positive change in yourself. A person is normally perceived as shy or introverted when he slash she is uncomfortable in the presence of others. The three common situations are in the presence of authorities or people of a higher status, power, in social situations e. G. In a wedding or a public meeting or an informal get-together, formal party, in situations where one needs to be assertive, e. G. To go and make an inquiry or register a complaint. It is not necessary that a person has to be an extrovert in order to be bold on. E. Not shy. Introverts are merely comfortable being aloof and prefer not to, to interact with others but when required they are confident about themselves and bold enough to articulate. Interact is required. However, confidence is a must. If he slash she does not believe in one's own abilities, strengths, legitimate needs and rights, then the person would slowly become a recluse. Perhaps your lack of confidence is possibly largely responsible for your acute anxiety whenever you have to interact with people. Your lack of confidence could also be due to low self-esteem or some traumatic experiences or some bitter criticism. I also suggest that you work on your conversational skills and learn the art of asking open-ended questions that elicit a more elaborate response than a mere yes or no response from those you interact with. You must also practice the art of responding with at least a couple of sentences when responding to others. Learning to compliment people and giving them genuine appreciation will enable you to get others to respond positively to you. The following tips could also be useful for you. When in a group you will find some natural extrovert coming up to you and striking a conversation. Use the opportunity to warm up and be better prepared to try the same with some other people in the group. You must learn the art of identifying people who look lost or who seem to be introverts and perhaps you will be more comfortable trying to initiate a conversation with such people. Learn the art of introducing yourself and also some good lines, questions that are open-ended. Be careful not to be too aggressive with a response that runs counter to the opinion slash views of the person you are interacting with has. Also find polite ways of excusing yourself from a conversation so that you can move on if bored or if you want to interact with others. I would also urge you to also go through my answers to similar queries raised in this forum by clicking on the links below. Jacob Bobby's answer to how can I save myself from low self-esteem? Jacob Bobby's answer to what are the best options for increasing self-confidence? Jacob Bobby's answer to is there any problem in being an introvert? Find more answers and a free audiobook on how to talk to anyone in the description below. No useless advice like just get out there I mean actual useful advice from people who have really dealt with shyness and social anxiety and overcome it in their own lives.